Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I have something a little different um, for you guys. Uh, it's just something that I thought would be fun to do since we've all been stuck at home, um, all been spending money online. <laughs> uh, I figured it would be fun to do a quarantine shopping haul. So I have bought like a lot of stuff over the past weeks and um, I just figured I would like show you guys what I've been buying being stuck in the house. So also my mouth kind of looks blue because I've been eating gummy worms. So just ignore that. So <clears throat> I have all this stuff sitting here and there's no like particular order. I'm just gonna like grab stuff. So um, one order that I placed was from Bath and Body Works. Obviously we were running out of soap and so I just went ahead and ordered more soaps so I actually got like this little I guess it's like their spring or summer line um, and it's five soaps so they're all the foaming soaps I um, don't really like foaming soap but the new formula that Bath and Body Works has that's like the gel soap with essential oils or something I am NOT a fan of um, so I just went ahead and got all foaming soap so we have blueberry lemonade Island Papaya, Raspberry Tangerine, Pineapple Mango, and Coconut Colada. Now those are the five that were in like this collection. And then um, I think it was like six for 24 or something like that. So I got one more and this one is called Cotton Candy Skies. This one's not part of the collection, but I love cotton candy. I love everything that tastes like cotton candy. I love cotton candy. I love things that smell like cotton candy. <laughs> so I had to get this and it actually smells really, really good. So those were the soaps that I got from Bath and Body Works. So while we're on the topic of like things that smell good, <laughs> um, I got some wax melts for my wax warmer. Um, I'm obsessed with my wax warmer. It's so much better personally than like candles. I just, I'm not one to like watch candles and make sure that they're not like burning the house down or whatever and like a wax warmer you can just like turn it on and leave it and then turn it off at night so um i actually tried some new wax melts normally i just get like the walmart brand wax melts they smell really really good they melt really nicely and the smell lasts for a really long time um but i wasn't able to go to walmart and i didn't want to order them online um from walmart so I found this kind of local place called the Peaceful Porch. Um, they are located in Wadawi, Alabama. So um, they have like soy candles, wax melts. They have like dough bowl, can do bowl candles, dough bowl candles, dough bowl candles. Um, and so I just decided I would try their wax melts. So I got three of their scents. So the first one is called um, Southern Magnolia and I've already used one of these. I really like this. Um, my family is not so much big into like the floral scents. Um, my dad says that it like smells like a funeral home. So, <laughs> um, but I really, really liked this one. I'm, Magnolia is one of my favorite flowers, that and hydrangeas. And I think it smells really good. It just, it's a floral scent. So, I got Southern Magnolia. I also got Juicy Peach. Now this one has been a hit. My mom was actually, when I got these in the mail, she was like, um, let me have one of those. So this is, it smells so good, you guys. Like if you're looking for some good wax melts, buy these from the Peaceful Porch and get Juicy Peach because it is so good. Um, and the smells, the scents last for probably about two days. So it's pretty good. You can use like one cube every two days and it smells really, really good. So I got Juicy Peach and then the last one I got is Seaside Serenity. And I haven't actually used this one yet, but it smells really good in the package. And this one smells just kind of like clean. Like you just wash a load of laundry at the beach. <laughs> That's what it smells like. So, um, I need to try one of these and see how it smells like actually burning. Um, but the Juicy Peach and the Southern Magnolia are both really, really good. So I highly, highly recommend this. Um, I will leave the link to their like online store in the description so you guys can check them out. Um, but these are like excellent. Okay, so the next thing that I ordered was actually a pre-order. I saw an ad like ads get me you guys like if something pops up on my Facebook and I think it's cute like I'm gonna buy it so bobble bar there's like an ad on Facebook for bobble bar for their new 
um, charm bracelet. I can't even remember what it's called. I'm wearing it now because the actual bracelet part just came in the mail today. So I actually got all three of the charms for this bracelet before um, I got the actual bracelet. Um, but I will just hold this up and show you guys. So it's just like a, it's a pearl bracelet. And then it has a bar on the front that actually unscrews. And then you slide your charms on here and then you just screw it back on. And so they had like a million different um, charms you could choose from. And so these are just the three that I chose. They actually had one that had, um, it was a paw print and you could get it engraved with your dog's name. It was like 50 something dollars. <laughs> so um, I am going to get that one eventually. But I just kind of wanted to get it in the mail first and like see if I liked it before I spent like the $50 on like a big charm. These charms I think were like less than $20, I think. Um, I know they weren't more than $20 a piece, but I just got um, a little cross and an amethyst is the one in the middle and then two little pearls and each one like meant something different. So like obviously the cross is like faith and then the amethyst is my birthstone. And the two pearls I think meant like hope or fa uh, not faith. I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was hope. So, but I'm a big pearl wearer. Like I wear my pearls all the time. Every day I'm wearing pearl earrings. So anyway, I just thought this was super, super cute. Um, and I'll definitely be getting uh, the other, the little charm that uh, is a paw print and have Mako's name engraved on it. But it's super pretty. I like that it's kind of dainty. It's not big and bulky. I also have this charm bracelet, which is um, Brighton. And so, yeah, I probably won't wear these both together, but I was already wearing my Brighton charm bracelet, and then I just put this one on because it came in the mail today. But I really like it. It's super pretty. Um, and it was a pretty affordable little bracelet. Um, but you guys should check it out because I like that you can also, like, it's a charm bracelet, but it's not... Oh, it's just like a different kind of charm bracelet. It's not your traditional charm bracelet. So I thought it was really pretty. Okay, next couple things that I bought um, are kind of like a nerdy thing. <laughs> um, I bought some Star Wars ornaments. So if you don't know me and you don't know my mother, um, we like Hallmark ornaments. So every year we like buy all the new Hallmark ornaments that come out. And just last year I got into Star Wars pretty big. And so Last year for Halloween, I had a Harry Potter themed Halloween tree. So Hallmark came out with a whole line of like Harry Potter interactive ornament things. And they're really, really cool. My tree was amazing. And they're coming out with more this year. But I'm debating on whether or not when I have a Harry Potter Halloween tree or a Star Wars Halloween tree. Um, I just haven't decided yet. But anyway, um, so obviously Hallmark has been around for a long, long time. And I just got into Star Wars last year, so there's like a ton of ornaments that I don't have because they've come out in years before. Um, but me and my mom are both uh, like in groups on Facebook where people like resell some of their ornaments. So all of that to say, I bought some older Hallmark ornaments that are really cool. So I figured I would like include these just because I thought they were pretty neat. So I got this guy. This is Emperor Palpatine and this is from 2008 he doesn't do anything he just like looks really terrifying um so i thought he was pretty cool i also got just a stormtrooper he does he also doesn't do anything he's just like plastic sit around hang on your tree kind of thing and the stormtrooper is um let's see what year he is he's from 2000 so and i also got obi-wan kenobi um and he's just also just your plastic like sit around hanging on your tree thing um, and he is from 2000 and this one is really really cool I wish that I could show you guys um, this one actually lights up and it has sound so this is Darth Vader <laughs> um, and this actually um, I don't know what this is called it's just like a sight and sound ornament I think uh, but this one will just plug in to like you take one of the light bulbs off of a strand of lights and then you just plug this in there and he lights up this like yellow platform he's on lights up and his lightsaber lights up and he has like a quote from the movie um, and this one is from 1997. 
Okay, to kind of go along with like the nerdy thing, I actually just got this the other day. My mom actually got it for me, but I figured it would be good to include in this. <laughs> um, this is just a Sudoku book. I was like really wanting to do Sudoku the other night and I, I got an app on my phone. I was just like playing it on my phone, but there's just something about having like a book and like a pencil and just writing it and like solving it on your own. Um, so yeah, got a Sudoku book. I also wanted to mention, I don't have it up here because I've started it already, um, but I got a Disney princess puzzle. Y'all, it was so hard to find a puzzle. Like everywhere is sold out and I finally found one, um, at Box Lunch. I will put a picture right here so you can see. Um, it's really pretty. It's a mosaic Disney princess puzzle. Um, but that was like the only one that they had in stock from Box Lunch. And like I couldn't find one at Books A Million. I couldn't find them at Barnes & Noble. They didn't have any at Amazon or Walmart. Like it was crazy. And my mom and I were at Walmart the other day and I was like, let's just go look and see if they have any puzzles. And literally the whole like wall where they have puzzles, they just had those like little tags on the price and it was like temporarily out of stock on like every single one. So like, Y'all are really doing puzzles right now, like crazy. This quarantine got people wanting to put puzzles together, y'all. Okay, so the next few things, well, I think the rest is like clothing. Um, so I don't have a pool. Um, I don't really go swimming that much. We go to the beach like once a year, maybe. Um, but all that to say, I have like an obsession with buying bathing suits. Like I have so many bathing suits and I just always want to buy them so I um, follow red dress uh, their like homes like their brick-and-mortar store and their um, warehouse is located in Athens Georgia which is here uh, they were actually on Shark Tank Diana Harbor is the um, owner of red dress and she was on Shark Tank um, so it was just, it's really cool that it's just like a place located in Athens and they've actually gotten really, really big and very successful and their clothes are gorgeous and their swimwear is amazing. Like it's so beautiful. So this is the first one that I got. This is just a one piece and I'm actually going to have to send this one back, um, and get a bigger size because a lot of the stuff at Red Dress is kind of like, uh, junior sizing and they tell you. Um, like how the fit is in the description so you can kind of like gauge what you should wear and I just I should have got a large I was being hopeful and was hoping that a medium would fit but it was just a little tight so I'm gonna actually have to send this one back but it is so pretty I will see if I can like put pictures here of like the models on the website wearing them because it's kind of hard to see um, just like this but it's just a one piece and it's navy and white and striped and it ties up in the middle and it has like um, cups sewn into the front which is super nice I hate when you get a one piece and it doesn't have any kind of like padding or anything in the front it just makes it weird and like awkward um, and the back is really pretty it just like dips down um, but it is super nice and like the material is good like it's not one of those gross like thin I don't know they just have really really good swimwear so the second one that I got was um like a two-piece bikini um and you guys this is the brand palms away and wow like this material is so soft like so comfortable I want to have all of my bathing suits in this material because it is just the best. It is so soft and it just like fits on your body really well. So, you know, sometimes you'll get a bathing suit and it's just like, it doesn't fit right and it doesn't look right and you're just like uncomfortable the whole time. This is not like that. And I actually kind of thought these looked pretty small. I was like, oh man, but I put them on and it just like fit. Like it just felt so nice. So this is the bottom. It's just, um, gray and like different shades of blue stripes so that's the bottom and then the top it's probably going to be hard to like tell on here but it just ties in the front oh you can kind of tell um it ties in the front it doesn't have any like adjustments or anything on the back which i really like sometimes if you're like laying in a chair or even sitting in a chair in a bathing suit and you have like the hook in the back or even something like that ties 
it's uncomfortable to like sit back in a chair. And so I really like that this doesn't have anything in the back. Um, everything is in the front, which also makes it very easy to put on and take off because you're not trying to reach behind you. Um, and it just fits super, super nice. So that is the second bathing suit that I got. And I actually have a ton of bottoms, but I don't really have tops that match. So this is a bottom that I already had. This was from Victoria's Secret like years ago on like a semi-annual sale or something. Um, and I don't ever wear it because I didn't have a top that matched. And I was actually just like scrolling through the sale page on Red Dress. And I came across this bathing suit top. And this bathing suit top was only $5, you guys. Like, what? five bucks for this pretty red top sorry I'm trying to like put it all together it was unhooked um, but it's just your basic like red bikini top this one does have a clasp in the back oh it came undone um, it just has a little clasp like this one of the like so yeah it just has a clasp in the back like this um, which isn't too terrible but y'all oh, this is only five dollars what so I thought that was worth it for five bucks and I can wear it with my little striped bottom that I already had. Okay, so that was everything I got from Red Dress. And yesterday my mom and I were out just like grocery shopping and doing all that kind of stuff. And we went to a little place um, local to us called The Farmer's Table, um, which is just kind of like a gift shop, but also like a local farmer's market. It's super, super cute. If you're local, you should definitely check them out. Um, but I have actually been looking for this t-shirt. This is a Simply Southern t-shirt. Um, and I saw that Farmer's Table posted it like on their Facebook page and I really, really wanted it. But this was like a while ago. And so I just obviously haven't had a chance to like go out and get it. So um, we went into the store yesterday and they had it. They had one medium and one small and I was like, oh, it is meant to be so it's just this super cute shirt that says just peachy and it says simply southern on the bottom but it also has like a little dogwood and I just think it's super cute um, and I was so excited that they had it in my size because like I said I've been looking for it and I even looked on some places online and they were like all sold out of it I was like oh. so I had kind of just given up on it but they had it, so it was meant to be, so I obviously had to buy it. Okay, so next up is some stuff that I bought from Academy. Look, I told you guys that I bought a lot of stuff, okay? Just, like, bear with me. <laughs> um, so I have some, my favorite shorts that I, like, work out and stuff in are my Nike shorts. And I got them, like, years ago. I think I got them off Poshmark. Um... And they're cute like one pair is pink and it has white it's like two-toned pink with white and then my other pair are like black with pink and blue stripes or something and they're cute but they don't match anything um, and so I wanted to just get like some basic Nike shorts so I just got a pair of black ones so these will go with pretty much anything and I also got a pair of white, which will go with anything that I have that doesn't go with the black ones. <laughs> so either way, I will have some Nike shorts to match whatever it is I want to wear. And I also got this cute shirt just because I was like browsing on Academy's website when I was um, going to buy the Nike shorts. And I got this cute shirt. And this is a large just because it was all that they had in stock, but I really liked it. So I was like... I will just go with a large. I normally wear a medium. Um, but it says she's as pretty as a peach. And I couldn't pass it up. It was only 10 bucks, And it's like the brand State Love or something. But I just thought it was really cute. And it will go really good with my white Nike shorts. So had to buy it. Okay. Just two more places left. I did some shopping at Jiffy Shirts and at Old Navy. Um, if you are not familiar with Jiffy Shirts, they are just like a wholesale t-shirt company um, where people can buy uh, t-shirts to like monogram or put, you know, whatever their designs on or something. And um, so I just bought a couple things from them. I bought, um, all of it was comfort colors. So I bought this ginormous, <laughs> it's an extra large comfort colors t-shirt in blue. Um, I love to sleep in these. So I know girls like get really cute pajama sets and they're like really cute matching and I just like to wear like extra large t-shirts to bed. <laughs> um, 
but these are like the most comfortable t-shirts to sleep in you guys if you are a t-shirt sleeper I highly recommend these comfort colors and if you get them from Jiffy shirts they're like six bucks so highly recommend um, I also got um, my mom a red comfort colors t-shirt and um, put on it for Mother's Day it says bad mama jama I was gonna buy it from like a little boutique that I saw uh, but it was like 30 bucks and I was like, man, I could probably make this myself. <laughs> so I did. Um, and I have it wrapped. So Mother's Day is tomorrow. You guys will see this like way after Mother's Day. But um, I have the gift wrap so I can't show you. But it's a really cute little red t-shirt. And I also bought this Cumber Color shirt. This is in the color grass, I think. And it's just like a green color and I actually put my monogram on it. I've been seeing a lot of little boutique places do the comfort color sets like the shirts and the shorts. And I really wanted to get some but they're so expensive and I can make it myself. <laughs> so um, I just got a medium and put my monogram on it and like a pretty glitter vinyl. And I bought, <laughs> this is funny you guys, I bought the shorts as well. So these are the shorts. Please look at how tiny they are. They're the smallest shorts I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> so I thought, oh my gosh, they had to have sent me like some youth shorts or something. Um, but they are not youth shorts. So funny story. I got this color because it was the only color that they had available in the shorts in a size medium, which is the size that I normally wear. So I was like, well, that's fine. Like I like this color. And so I just bought these um, and then the green shirt to match. But when I got them, they were like way, way, super, super small. So I went back and I was like looking at the reviews. And of course, people were like, these shorts run super small. Make sure you order like two sizes up. I was like, of course, like the one time I don't read reviews is when I should have. I just assumed that they would fit normal. Um, but Jiffy Shirts has like the best customer service. Um, so they refunded my money on the shorts and said that I didn't have to worry about sending them back, which was super nice. Um, so I am going to buy more of those shorts. So the good thing is, um, since I have to size up, they have like all the colors available. So I'll be able to get more colors in the shorts, which is exciting. All right, you guys were in the home stretch. This is the last few things that I need to show you, <laughs> need to show you. <laughs> um, so this was actually the first order I placed, gosh, like, like a month and a half ago. And they actually just recently got here a couple weeks ago. Um, I got some shoes from Old Navy. So I got this pair here. They're just sandals. Um, I thought that they were going to be white, uh, but they're more of like a nude color, which is fine. I don't really care. Um, I have a pair, I think they're by American Eagle, um, that are pretty much just like this, but they have the white strap and they're just coming apart. So I was like, you know what, let me just buy some more. <laughs> so I'm not wearing shoes that are falling apart. And I also got this pair. These are just like the double strap um, black like leathery sandals. I also have a pair of these, but these I have worn so much that like the sole has separated from the actual shoe. And so I have to like walk around. I look like a duck walking around in those shoes because I have to pick my feet up so far from the ground so that I don't trip and fall. Um, so again, I was like, let me just get some more of these so I'm not walking and like mess up shoes. And while I was looking on the website, of course I came across some other things that I just had to have. Um, so this was the last pair of shoes that I got and it's just like the black ones, um, but they are like a blush pink color and they kind of are like textured, um, kind of like a snake skin maybe. Uh, but these are super cute and they're just like the black ones, just the blush pink. Okay, if you have made it this far, kudos to you. Thank you so, so much for watching this super long haul video. Um, if you're like me and have done a ton of shopping, please let me know in the comments. Let me know what you're buying. I love to know what other people buy. Um, I love watching haul videos, so I just think it's interesting. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked this video, you should like actually like it and like give it a thumbs up, right? Um, and also subscribe if you're new here um, and lasted this long. You should definitely subscribe because obviously you like watching my videos. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.